This is section 1.1, number 21. Uh, I, I sent out a, uh, a short YouTube description of how we derive a predator prey system. And uh, in this problem, they're asking you, most importantly, to be able to look at a system uh, of differential equations that represent predator prey and decide which one's the predator and which one's the prey. So, um, so here we go. Uh, in, in part A, uh, they've basically written this backwards from the way it's described in the textbook. As you look at this system to decide which one is the predator, I'm um, sorry, which one is the prey, you want to see which one is growing. <clears throat> so if, so I, I quickly see that here there's a positive term. And uh, this is gamma times y. And so uh, if the x is absent, if the x, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to claim that, that y is the prey, x is the predator, Because in the absence, if the, if the x is 0, this term is missing. And we see that, that y grows at a rate proportional to itself. Up here, we see if the prey is missing, if y is 0, the function x decreases at a rate proportional to itself. And so the predator will die in the absence of the prey, and that's the basic predator-prey model. The question says, is the growth rate of the prey limited by any factors other than the number of predators? Well, as we look at this model we, for our prey, we see, no, um, if, X is, if this term is missing, then we grow unrestricted. So, um, so here we'd say, uh, growth rate rate of prey is unrestricted. Uh, okay, in, in the absence of predators. Second question, do the predators have a source of food other than the prey, well, um, as we see here, if y is 0, the predators die, they, that's all there's to it, it needs this term to succeed. I'm going to change colors back to black. Um, and so, uh, predators have no other source of food. In part B, the story is a little different. Uh, I want to just highlight a few things. First of all, I'm going to rewrite before I do that. I'm going to rewrite uh, dx dt because I can group together the alpha x term and I see that I have a logistics model x over n. Again, I'm seeing here there's a positive growth rate, here there's a positive growth rate, so it takes a little more uh, viewing to, to think it through. So here we're seeing a population X that is growing according to the logistics model. It is limited by some carrying capacity N, but as we've seen in the logistics model, X will grow uh, if, if X uh, is small relative to n and y is 0, then we grow exponentially. Uh, we grow at a rate proportional to our population. As x approaches n, uh, our, this positive term uh, slow, starts slowing us down, and so we're limited by our carrying capacity. 
However, there's a constant decrease of our population due to the interactions between x and y. This looks just like our predator model over here, where our prey suffers from predator-prey interactions. And so, based upon that alone, um, I can say that, um, in this case, x represents our prey, because it grows by itself, limited only by its carrying capacity. This term says it grows naturally limited by the carrying capacity, and it decreases based upon these interactions. The prey, however, is y. Y, I'm sorry, is, are the predators. But in this case, and we see that they grow based upon interactions between x and y. This term's positive, and so the rate of growth of y, of the predator, uh, increases at some rate proportional to the number of interactions. But in this case, we have a positive term here. And, uh, and in that positive term, we uh, can make the assumption that if y, if, I'm sorry, if x is zero, if there are no prey, the predators will continue to grow unrestricted, which means that they have another food source. And so to answer our questions up here, uh, the uh, growth rate, let's write in blue, the growth rate of the prey is restricted by the carrying capacity. Capacity. So that's one answer. And the second answer is, do the predators have another source of food? Yes, they do. Alternative source of food. And again, the reasoning is, in the absence of the prey, if x is 0, uh, dy dt still has a positive growth rate. And, um, and that's it. That's number 21. Thank you. Bye-bye.